guys, I got the 350Z over here. Um, today I'm just gonna put the, that oil cooler on and that power steering cooler and uh, get the front bumper and everything on. Actually, in the next video, I'll get those uh, rear caliper brackets on, get the, uh, the calipers painted and all that good stuff. And this thing should be 100% roadworthy. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna go ahead and get this knocked out. I'll show you guys the parts that I got real quick. But um, if you have a lot of 350Zs, you know, kind of stuff laying around, I'm gonna show you something really cool. The transmission cross member is like the perfect thing to drive your car up on <laughs> if your car is too low. Like they are work perfect, especially out here in the dirt. But I'm so pumped, man. Like this thing was a almost a total loss when I first got it. This, this thing was missing a bunch of stuff blown up and look at that thing now man craziness yeah i'm gonna show you guys real quick the parts that i got and what i'm going to use and then we'll just get them thrown on here and um just go from there get those get that stuff thrown on there i'm like really really excited to see it with the front bumper on so uh let's go ahead and get to it so this is the oil cooler i just opened the box it just got delivered and like this is just how it comes. So right up front you have the bracket, which looks pretty cool. And our lines, which look like they're pretty good quality. So I was like trying to price how much this stuff would cost if you just built your own. And like to me, this I think this whole this kit was like 300 and something bucks. So it wasn't that bad. Um, so you just Save yourself a lot of headache if you just buy that. I'm sure this is going to be the oil cooler, which I'll open that in a second. And, uh oh, it's falling apart. Got some instructions and some, like, so that is like one thing, like, if you have a company and you like sell parts to people, add decals, man. Everybody loves stickers. So, got some instructions right here. Pretty sure this is going to be the sandwich plate. Yeah, so that's just the sandwich plate. Um, got something in there. And some packing materials. I always hang on to the boxes and stuff. They just come in handy if you ever have to ship anything so we'll put that under the table see if we can get into this thing real quick that's gonna be a slider <laughs> boom just like that so nothing too crazy guys like I said I mean um I didn't want to spend 500 bucks for an oil cooler because when, when my car was DE, I never had any power steering cooler or oil cooler, so I didn't really. I'm sure they help, but I didn't want to spend that kind of money. Or I don't have it to spend, it, really. And my uh, power steering cooler is just like some kind of universal thing I got from Summit. It's nothing, nothing too crazy, but I'll show you guys that when I'm putting everything more actually putting it on the car. So. But not not too bad of a kit from what I'm seeing so far for, you know, way cheaper than all the other people. So looks good to me. All right. So I fit a little bit. I got to go ahead and show you guys the uh, the power steering cooler that I went with. I, like, so I went with this because it was cheap. This this whole thing was like 60 bucks and it just has, you know, line, you know, a hose. You push it in from where the factory one goes and it's, you know, it's going to do what it's supposed to do, which is keep your transmission not your transmission but you know just keep your uh, power steering fluid from getting too hot so. I'm gonna be kind of bummed if this one's actually bigger than, <laughs> than the oil one but like I said just got rubber hose right there on the side of your car where the, it goes to a hard line I'm just going to use this and uh, do away with those hard lines oh in case they're about the same size this is like extremely you know, thin compared to that. 
but like looking from the front of the car, you know, they're going to look fairly equal. So yeah, should work good. This right here, I'll probably just make my own little brackets for it and it'll be fine. So, all right. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get these installed and show you guys how I got them installed and everything. And, or basically just walk you through the process of getting these installed and then we'll take the Z out. So let's get to it. All right. Not only are we gonna put the oil coolers on here, I'm gonna fix an exhaust issue I have. This Y pipe is like, it's rubbing, it's like hitting the floor of the car and it's making a lot of noise. And um, I wanna show you guys why, when there's a little issue like that, you should stop and fix it then instead of waiting. <laughs> um, so I put a lot of effort into cleaning up under this car and painting. Um, so I'm really bummed to show you this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get under here. Um, one, the car is really low. That's like grass or something. Um, I've already scrubbed the bottom of my car. At least it wasn't to bare metal. Not yet. Might have to raise this thing just to just a wee bit but right there you can see where it's hitting the floor it's hot but and it's making a lot of noise up top so I don't know how I'm going to fix this on the ground like this hmm. I think I'm going to Try to force something. Try to force something in between. I don't want to dent my floor. It looks pretty thick though right here. So probably going to put something right here. I know you guys ain't going to see nothing of this. But we'll try to put something right here. Like a pad. And put a pry bar right here. And try to pull down on it. And see if I can like wedge something thick. Like a board or something there heat cycle the car a few times and hope that it will kind of bend itself out of the way um, but that's probably wishful thinking now that I'm saying it out loud but we're gonna give it a shot all right guys I'm not gonna lie I didn't go as delicate as I wanted to so I did nick my floor a little bit um, but if I had a lift I would probably would just you know Picked the car up with the lift and like hung some weights, like put a chain around the exhaust, hung some weights on it, and just heat cycled the car right there. Maybe a little torch action, but I'll show you what I got going on right now. Um, it should work. We'll see. But I just took a, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I just took a pry bar um, on the back side of the exhaust and, you know, like I said, got my floor a little bit, but a little pain on her. I got this torch heating it right here while the car's running. <clears throat> that way it'll get the part of the header right there really, really hot. So hopefully it will actually, you know, massage itself down a little bit, which will keep the Y pipe off the floor. In theory. So one we'll let it run for a little bit, let it get really hot, shut the car off, let it cool in position just the way it is right now. And like I said, I might do it one more time and then I can take the bar out and I'll see if it actually is going to stay in place. But it's part of not having, you know, lift and stuff like that. I had a lift, like I said, I would just hang a chain from the exhaust and like stack weight on it, you know, and lift the car up until so you just physically, you know, you could actually run the car, just get the, get the hot, get the metal hot. So it's kind of bendable, but whatever. So anyway, this video is not about that. We're getting the oil coolers in there. I just wanted to show you guys my little setup. <laughs> and I'll keep you updated if it actually works and fixes the exhaust so all right so now that you uh got your car jacked up and everything I went ahead and removed the oil filter and drained my oil you don't have to do that you just got to remove the oil filter to install this kit but you do have to make a hot mess with the oil and let it leak and drip all over the place and make a mess in your yard that's just mandatory but I figured since I'm putting an oil cooler on this thing, I'll go ahead and change the oil because this thing is fresh off the, uh, you know, getting tuned off the dyno and everything where it got abused. So we're going to throw some fresh oil in here. I'm going to cut that filter open to make sure everything is happy on the inside of this thing. So there's no like 
something about to explode before I ruin a brand new uh, oil cooler. So <laughs> I figured I figured it couldn't hurt to go ahead and get a check on that to make sure that this engine is actually healthy and um, I'm not gonna be running metal through a brand new oil cooler. And like I said, it's always a good idea to change oil. So go ahead and change it while we're had to take the filter off anyway. So it just makes sense to me. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this mess cleaned up and um, I'll kind of get the bracket because there's I don't want to put the little oil sandwich plate on there or the filter sandwich plate on there and then get the lines on and stuff until I have the cooler in place because that's going to probably be the biggest deciding factor of how the lines are going to be ran. So I just want to get the oil drained. I'll get the cooler mounted up. I'm going to do the oil one first because the, the power steering was just kind of like a universal thing I got. So everything is going to hinge off of where the uh, oil cooler goes and is happy. So <laughs> I'm going to get this on here real quick and show you guys how it looks on the car. All right, guys. So if you're if you're smart, you can just use the hardware that they so kindly provide for you in this kit. So a big thanks to Grassroots for doing that. But you know me, I'm extremely foolish, so I drilled holes or drilled the holes bigger and put rib nuts in this plastic crap that Nissan calls a core support. So a few months from now, when they when the rib nuts pull out and this falls apart, um, everyone can make fun of me, I guess. But I'm hoping that it doesn't do that. Um, I'm almost tempted to drill holes for these right here. And, uh, but I don't wanna put more pressure on this plastic than I already have, so. All right, so we got the oil cooler bracket on here and everything, got the oil cooler just sitting up here. And like I said, it's, it's up there pretty good. I think it's going to be all right, but I'm going to build like a little bracket up here. Something something just to hold it because that kind of makes me nervous, like all the weight pulling down on that bracket while it's hooked to that plastic uh, core support. So I'm going to build a little something. Maybe put another rib nut right there and uh, run some of this like aluminum stock all the way across and have like some little pads come off of that and use that to also hold the power steering cooler up there. So I'm gonna go and get this roughly done, bolted up, and then I'll move on to getting the um, the uh, sandwich plate on, run the lines. That way I can go ahead and mock up the power steering. So this is going pretty easy. I wouldn't think anyone would have uh, a hard time getting this knocked out. But uh, I'm gonna complicate it a little bit just by putting a little bracket right here. And since this, well, cause I'm gonna get bash bars eventually, so. Yeah, I definitely need something that's gonna bolt right here. So I think like one little bracket to go from here to here, and then maybe like some flat stock from like here to here would be like plenty. So it should be like, this should be okay, but I'm just uh, overthinking it, I guess. But oh, I'm probably use these little brackets. Just bend them or something. Anyway, let me get this knocked out real quick. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, there's no better way to go than this right here. This is the best oil and power steering cooler on youtube right now ain't nobody touching this <laughs> but i'm pumped bro like for the price of just like a mishimoto or what another brand uh, oil cooler you get both check this out this like 300 something dollars so we'll say 400 shipped to your house taxes and all that stuff this 60 bucks from summit look at that 100 percent. this is going to do a perfectly fine job cooling your power steering fluid and that's going to do just as good as any other brand on the market i'm going to say so it works out perfect and like to get this guy mounted all i did was just drill two new holes and these are the original holes for the uh, the factory oil cooler or power steering cooler so i just drilled those bad boys in there and the only thing I had to like, I just made sure it wasn't like rubbing on my AC right here. And whatever this little sensor is that sticks out right here, I just moved it to the back. I just drilled a new hole for it and stuck it back there. So I like zip tie my, uh, my wires and stuff out of the way and boom. Sweet. So I'm going to get the sandwich plate on there, run my lines, show you guys what I'm going to do for my... Um, I'm actually soft hose. I'm hoping I have enough to run from the top of these. I, looking at this, like I know I have enough. And this is in the kit too. This comes with the kit. And you get all this stuff. So if you want to like 
just like firmly mount it to like you know your radiator or whatever it even comes with hose clamps can't beat that sixty dollars and i would put that up against with any other cooler out there i don't think the power steering is gonna get this out but you know correct me if you feel that you you know better i don't know i'm not saying i know everything but for the price this is pretty darn good i think because <laughs> i think the power steering cooler is like almost the same price as the old i don't know but anyway i'm gonna get this knocked out and i'll show you guys the final and like i said you can use the zip ties right there there's a little put zip ties right there it's gonna tuck the wire up hey i got power steering fluid all over my freaking wire anyway i'm gonna like take these hard lines out and where they're hard lines on the car side i'm just gonna run soft line over here run the lines for the uh for the oil cooler put sandwich plate in and this is done wasn't a task at all but of course i didn't have to take my front bumper off because it was already off <laughs> all right so i got those other hard lines out of the way um i don't that's gonna be easier or not but i tried to bend that one line to make it a little bit facing the right direction instead of facing down i kind of kinked it up a little bit but i think she's gonna be okay it doesn't look like it's too bad um got the soft lines on there they are extremely tight <laughs> So I couldn't get them to go all the way flush to the stop, but that should be okay. Got them running down through here. Still got to do my horn wiring, fix all that from the accident. But as you can see, dude, that is, that's fucking money, man. I'm so pumped. And like I said, I'm going to zip tie this out of the way. Once it stops leaking power steering fluid, I'm going to uh, wrap it with some more plastic. Or wrap it plastic. Wrap it with more tape. yeah once i get it clean i'm gonna wrap it with some more black tape um so it's kind of out of the way everything looks like it's gonna work pretty good there's the redo my horn wires that's the airbag sensor that don't even matter zip tie this bad boy right there out of the way put, plug you know hook my horns up i'm gonna do something to protect these where they're running through right there um just wrap them in something so it doesn't take a chance of rubbing a hole zip tie them together left plenty of slack that way say like i need to get that line loose and it's too tired i can't get it loose i can just cut it and then i'll have enough to reattach i'm really hoping that this engine doesn't have to come out for a very very long time so i'm hoping this stuff is here to stay for a, a little a good minute but um yeah it's pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and put the sandwich plate on uh, i'm just gonna put a little bit of blue um thread lock on the inside you know of the threads riding riding there just so there's no chance of it backing out or less chance of it backing out i'll probably thread lock these uh, an fittings too um just because if that backs out that's gonna that's gonna be a bad day <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna get this on we can run the lines and then i'll show you guys everything all buttoned up and should be ready to slap the front bumper on and uh the only thing you guys need to know about this sandwich plate is the rubber side the little rubber seal goes towards the engine and uh the smooth surface goes towards the filter because the filter will have a rubber seal on it so i'm gonna put a little bit of oil on this thing and then we'll just thread it on there i'm probably going to put a lot of ugga dugga on it because like i said if this comes off it's gonna be a bad day and i'm probably going to reseal these little uh brass fittings they got in here um, just because i'm paranoid about it so or at least check and make sure they're tight so do that I can figure out how my lines are going to run and the oil cooler will be done. I'll just set for my little top bracket and tighten those lower bolts. So, all right, guys, I've been pretty impressed with this kit up until now. I don't know if you can see that. There's a pretty gnarly, like, burr on there from where they cut this and, like, you know, I guess machine the sealing surface or however this was made. But that's definitely not going to seal. Uh, it might it might not but i'm going to take a file and file that down um just because i don't take a chance on damaging the an line and this thing always leaking so i'm gonna clean that up but got the sandwich plate in there and everything and the lines are just they're a little bit too long for my liking but i guess better too long than too short i'm debating on taking them apart and shorten the lines but i'll show you that in just a second but let me get this cleaned up real quick uh, all right guys we got a wix filter on there um just my preference uh let's see here but you can see what i'm saying like hook that bad boy there just like they're way too long this might work but since i have i know how to you know make an lines 
I'm just going to take it apart and shorten them up a little bit because so I want it to tuck right up in there. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like that. But as you can see, it's just a big old loop. So I'm just going to shorten them up that little bit. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I even tried to face them this way a little bit more so they'd bend around. But I think just shorten them up a little bit would be the uh, better option for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little off these bad boys. <laughs> but so far, so good. Still got to make my little bracket, even though, like I said, it's pretty secure. But I'm still going to make a little bracket to go from there to there. Just going to make me feel better. All right, guys, we are completely done. Um, all except for that one little bracket I want to make. Um, but as you guys can see, to me, that looks way better. Um, got it all zip tied together. The little zip ties up here kind of, you know, crappy. But I'll make a little bracket for them later. Late when I say later, I'm being probably never, but, you know. It's out of the way, it's not rubbing on anything. So, that's way neater, way nicer to me. And uh, that's what, you know, that much of difference makes on the hoses. So, you know, you don't have to cut the headache of doing this. That was just me being, you know, particular, whatever you want to say. But I mean, that's just the way I am with everything. I, there's very, it's very rare that I buy something off the shelf and I actually, um, you know, just put it on my car. But it's because I'm a crazy person, crazy person. Something just took me an hour. It's taken me like two. <laughs> um, but it, man, it worked out pretty good. I mean, I, I like it. I still have to like zip tie and clean these up a little bit and uh, do my. Um, horns but that's pretty cool that that's all right right there so for like 400 bucks we'll say 450 for like the oil cooler and the um power steering cooler so i can't think of too many more things that should stop me from like actually going to a, a track day and having a really good time so um maybe that clutch i don't know <laughs> we'll just have to see um but I'll get to an event really soon, guys. Really, really soon. Because I'm like, I haven't got to drive in a long time. So I'm curious to shake some rust off and see where I'm going to be. But th I've never had a car this well sorted either. I mean, I've never drifted a car with coilovers, angle, or anything like that. So, and I've had like a suicide handbrake, you know, where the, their, the front and rear brake are divorced. So people have their opinion about that. But that's budget, though. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Cause I'm like already whipped as far as like recording and working on cards and stuff. So I'm gonna make that little bracket. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. It's probably probably not gonna be anything fancy. I'm probably just gonna take some of that flat stock, twist it and bend it to where it'll actually support it, just in case it does break off or something. It doesn't like fall out from under the car. Um maybe also put like a big zip tie like right here. That way if it does fall, it's not gonna like fall and go into the car or anything but outside a little stuff like that um i'm sure you guys don't care to see that but anyway like i said i'm gonna finish putting this thing together and um you know probably next time you see it it might have the bumper i don't know but like i, said, I still have to take all the brake calipers off this thing paint my brake calipers take the whole entire back of the car apart so i can put the hubs on it with the dual caliper bracket <sighs> put those on there bleed everything and this car will finally be ready i have like one front control arm bushing this bad and i want to buy just a little bolt on angle kit and it should be there besides the stupid little things like i need to still put all the uh finish putting all the rubber, rubber molding for like the hood and stuff and all that stuff back there um which like i said you guys know how to do that you don't want to see me do this but still need to do that and like the seal for the back hatch and stuff so i mean it's coming together so yeah, that's it for me, dude. I'm freaking whipped. How did I don't turn, so I turn that into so, such a big task, bro? She just bolted that crap on and just rolled with it. But you gotta admit, it looks pretty good. Give a little bit of credit, I guess. It ain't gonna kill you. That looks pretty clean. I like it. And I've already turned the wheel to make sure it's not gonna like hit right here. So I'm happy with it. Um, But I would recommend the kit. It's not that hard to like take apart those AN lines and just shorten it a little bit if you want to do that. But if you're not, you can just like curl it up somewhere and it'll be, you'll be fine.
but yeah i'm gonna go get cleaned up so i can actually get in my car the corvette and i'm gonna go give me some zaxby's man get some chicken all right guys appreciate you watching hope this helps you if you're thinking about doing this hope it saves you some money if you're thinking about doing this because i do believe this is the best way to go that power steering cooler is gonna work just fine but that's it for me guys i'll see you in the next one when we get the dual caliper brackets done so 